Hey, Alex here, and today we're going to be playing some Blue Red Phoenix and Pioneer. I've made a few tweaks since last time. Uh, there's there's a ton of blue, black, inverter out there and five color Nymphmazet, so I've added Mystical Disputes to the main deck. And after doing a breakdown of the metagame and also looking at uh, how good it is against small black aggro, I've decided Wild Slash sucks. So, hey Dave, how's it going? Thanks for coming in. So, I've added the Speed's main, and I've upped the number of one mana cantrips up to 11, so we can consistently hit our land jobs on early turns and also aggro phoenixes out more. In addition, I've added four quickens. This card's actually kind of let me do a weird draw go thing, where between quicken and sorcery speed card draw spells, and having Is It Charms previously and now Disputes, I can kind of play draw go. And besides that, the sideboard is more or less the same. I've just gone up uh, to one more fry, four angers, because it's the best card against monoblock control. And beyond that, it's pretty stock. So let's start up a league. Oh, sick. What cartoons are you watching? Play League. Baby Bus. Is the bus a baby or is it a bus for babies? Go first. Uh, the sand is a mulligan. Oof. Uh, opponents keeping their seven will keep. I'm gonna bottom reef. It's a little cartoon animal singing songs. Hmm. Sounds fun. Alright, I don't know what Godless Shrine means in this format. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. Now I know what's going on. Alright, let's, uh... Let us take a look. Hmm. Actually, what's this card called? Hateful Eidolon. That'll probably be easier. Sram Auras. If they have... Okay, they don't seem to have many... Okay, I guess I have four of these, but we're kind of, mm, eh, let's just dispute the next door they play. Can't you do both? Can't you do both? Yeah, there's a Pioneer PT on right now. It's like kind of the same thing, right? This is probably not the best use of a uh, mystical dispute, but...
Alright, so I'm gonna go for a charm now, because if we hit one mana spell, we can Phoenix Serena. Chuching. Odds of this resolving? Not high. Yeah, well played. Racing the spugger is going to actually be a, a little annoying. Jesus Christ. Ugh. Yeah, I think we did. <laughs> How's this embarrassing? My opponent had truck for removal and put a I don't know. It's like losing a boggles. Alright, disputes. Not that great. This guy's probably not even that great in the matchup. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we just want spot removal. Well, that's uh, that's the goal of the stream today. Ran made it 420. You should have seen my match earlier against Blue Red Phoenix. Or when I got paired against Blue Black Inverter game one. Oof. Um. Yeah, I guess they should probably take a look at the deck. Alright. Read with Read with God, Dave is my zero. Uh Yeah, I don't think Fry is quite good enough. It's like maybe fine, but Actually, Beacon Bolt might not be good enough. I think Fry might be better. I got things falling down in my room. Mm. Awkward hand is awkward. Ooh. Do you think it's a, a blue spirit or a white spirit? I'm feeling blue. I hope it's a blue spirit. I'm gonna save the other looters. Is it a rattle chains? Maybe it's a rattle chains haunting my apartment. Jesus Christ. So if we draw ugh. Could be. Could be. So let's see. I think I'm just gonna Pyromancer Lightning Axe the Harpy.
Because the odds of us uh, hitting the other one mana spell are pretty effing low. This matchup is for Brazen Borrower would be very, very good. Okay. Hmm. Let us battle and pass. Okay. Ooh. Uh, one, two, yeah, so we'll be able, we just need to hit land. No, fuck. Ugh. Feels almost got there, man. We play mountain. Hmm. So we have two Arclight Phoenixes in the bin. So if we cruise for two, we're most likely not gonna be able to uh, Arclight Phoenix this turn, unfortunately. Especially because we missed so many land drops. If we cruise for six and we eat one of the phoenixes, I mean cruise for seven, we should be pretty good. Because then if we hit like a charter course or is a charm, that's automatically uh, an Arclight Phoenix activation. But it's not even that great. Maybe the crack play is to just play Mountain and tap out, tap all our lands for Treasure Cruise. And that way we'll be like stocked up for like a cruise in the future and probably Phoenixing next turn. Like the way the opponents play the game, it's pretty likely they have uh, Care Match's Blessing. Yeah, I think we have to take the unenviable line of just tapping for cruise. Feels disappointment. Uh, four. One, two, three, four. So we're on chump duty here. Because I think if they slam in all that glitters, we, we would have been pretty close to that. Or if they hit third land, we'd have been GG'd. 
doesn't have trample so we have five mana we don't really have the luxury of playing young pyromancer um hmm It's actually going to be hard to turn Phoenixes on with our current setup. Okay, so Reef, we play Reef, we take Chart, we Chart discarding Fiery Temper, shoot the token. Cartouche my balls. Spicy. Alright, let's take a look at the stack. What kind of removal do they have? Um, how do they? What's the board? Dead weight. Some have baffling and this opponent has casket. Let's get our phoenixes back. We're one point off, so eh. or two points off. So we can quicken, quicken, crash next turn to get them all back without taking a point. So I'm going to keep two phoenixes back in case they have a uh, dead weight. And I want to keep the elemental back. Alright, they finally hit their land. Alright, chump chump. So they should just be attacking with this, right? Okay, I'm... I think this attack is a little aggressive. Crash, quicken, quicken, Whew. that was dicey. I can win if they have any lifelink cores. Ugh, it's a, it's a sad thought. Yeah, the skirt's still fine. So we're going to be on the draw, so I'm going to do the greedy line of just shaving a strategic planning. So 
This is the one thing about the mana base I kind of hate. Alright, opponent's mulligan into six we're going to keep. Is, ooh, they're mulling to five. So, the, the, the Nombo with three falls and three reefs is kind of a, kind of a pain point. And force fire bluffs, obviously. They... Oh, sec. Uh, maybe a reef would have been better. Yeah. Yeah, here we could quicken. Ooh. Uh, so put them all to five. They haven't played anything yet. Um, if they do... Like, like, what's the risk case scenario? Third land, one drop, aura, keeping up Karametra's Blessing, right? I can't do too much about that. Though I guess one mana auras don't get too scary unless they're with real armor. And then they could, if they have a real armor on a, uh, what's it called? Hateful Eidolon, then it's a 3-4? This gives first strike too? What the hell? I really want to jam this. Let's jam it. They multi five. I think we kind of need to put some type of pressure on them. It's like either you have glass casket or you have one drop, one drop, Karametra's Blessing. And third land, which they, they got now. Alright, so it seems they don't have much going on. Alright, now that we got the clock in play, I'm just gonna pass. We could chart a course, but I'd rather keep up spot removal and then end of turn quick and short. So one nothing, 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 nothing. All right. Uh battle. So we just want to make one more, a few more land drops, and we'll be able to kill stuff and as a charm memes. A uh, harpy or a famia. Yeah. So. Just a braid. Yeah, they're in a shitty spot. They kind of have to do this stuff. Um, one, two, three, four. Let's see, four, three. Will be quick and done. Four. It'll cost four mana. Uh, So we bash the down to nine. We just gotta lean. Just lean. Yeah. We'll kill this at the end of. Oh, they're just. Yeah. Alright, GG. We uh, beat a pretty unlucky Boggles player. 
I'll be right back. See you Sunday. Alright, I have returned. Would I like to go first? Yes. Oh my god. Uh, keep. I guess we're just shipping reefing. Shipping, uh, shipping reef opt. Go from there. Arboreal Gracer. Boo. Boo. So they put a card on the bottom. Now we opto. Yeah, good enough. Uh, I will spell pierce that. Oh shit. Oh shit. Their mana screwed. God, mystical, mystical dispute would be king right now. So, all right, they found a lotus field, not bad. I just want to find mystical disputes to fuddle with their stuff. There we go. Please work, please work, please work. These uh, soft counter spells have really, really done their job. Uh, we have no Arclight Phoenixes, right? Also, them getting mana screwed definitely helps. I'm not gonna lie. Ugh. Um, let us strategically plan digging for another mystical dispute. Mmm. I'm just paying too.
All right, so, opponent's got four mana. We have a dispute. Are they just casting a 1-4? Oh no, they're they're wishing. Oh, they're playing granted. Oh my god, I'm such a dummy. And now we just uh, double fire retemper them. Choo -choo! Whew. Oh, feels feels gifted. Alright, so this card sucks. This card's good. This card is not ideal. Um, this card is God's gift. Let's see. They have one of these, one granted, they have dig, they have poor, and they have these powerful cards, uh, one J somewhere, they have an anger, it should be like good enough, but not great, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm too afraid to ever tap out. So we'll just, like, board in a fiery temper, I guess. Upon small getting to six, we have... We have a mediocre seven. <laughs> Fuck off. I fucking hate this card. This card's good against all the decks I play, so it's kind of why I'm salty towards it. Okay, so we are disputing everything we see. It's a blue card, I'm disputing it. <laughs> Opponent's asking how many I'm playing main deck. I replied 420. Blue, blue. Okay, they F6, which feels good. They have four mana though, so we can't drop our guard. Yeah. What do you get with this? Oh. Duh. Yeah, you got two, two low die.
they only have one card in hand and drop to two. We kind of have to, like, put our pressure into play. Oh, shit. Are we dead? I think we're dead. Five mana. Oh no. I think we're dead now. We might be dead now. But hey, we'll we'll see. We kind of need them to whiff, right? That's... They're putting a lot of stock. Would have been real nice if I just played one young Pyromancer and kept up the speed and honored the rest of my game plan. But, hey. They were tanking a lot, so they probably didn't get there, right? This isn't the, like, oh, they're dead GG tank. Anyways, I'm gonna run to the washroom super quick. Uh, actually, no. Oh, they did. Yeah. Oh, now they're down to one, though. Okay. I'll be right back. Hmm. Yeah, so tapping out here was definitely a big punt. We could have just played one pyro, kept up the speed, and I don't think they would have been able to uh, combo off if they had to pay for 
hidden strings. Or even that first strategic planning, right? By countering it, it might have hobbled them enough. But hey, uh, let's get them to... I think they have it, though, but... Eh. We'll make him do it, whatever. We'll see. We'll see what they got. Look, we know they have Anger. Jace. Okay, so they're gonna... They're just gonna mill themselves and... Go from there, right? Because these are gonna perpetually net the mana. And then they can, with the extra mana, spam some strategic plannings. Okay. Pretty sure this loops off. But they might misclick, so whatever. Hmm. This uh, definitely breaks through the mono mystical dispute plan. So now they can. I guess they already activated Jace, but yeah, they just need to do a. Uh, yeah, pour over the pages. Uh, let's see, I don't think anything changes. We don't have any instant speed threats like Brazen Borrower. And I think this is like one of the re one of the matchups where that card would actually really shine. Just being able to bounce Breach or Flash it in. But, yeah, everything else sucks. I think we're, like, missing one card for this matchup. I'm not totally sure what it should be. It could maybe even be that stupid artifact from Theros. The newish Relic of Progenitus. Would I like to play first? Yes. Uh, keep? Actually... Hmm. Yeah, I think there was some merit to just, uh, keeping Quicken. They put a card on the bottom. But we just want to draw cards. Or in this case, Young Peasy. Yeah, if they go untap Land Sylvan Scrying, you know, we're off to the races. So they kept Blast Zone. <sighs> okay. Um... Here's hoping.
Yeah, so now they can float two mana. They didn't float two mana, okay. Let's keep up as a charm. Worst case scenario, we can loot, end of turn. Vespian stage, cool. Yeah, well, let's draw two. Blue, red. Um, hmm. Discard. Attack for three first. I'm just gonna play fourth land and keep up double four mana counter. Yeah, so here they should just copy, go up to six mana. What are good cards in the for this matchup? Like damping sphere might be funnily uh, <laughs> from left field. Okay. Yeah, Blood Moon effects don't exist in this format, and I don't think you want to, like, Sorcerer Spyglass. This kind of stuff. Alright, uh, I think we're gonna is a Charm. Draw two, discard two, because I don't think this will be good moving forward. Discard. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, blue. So next turn we'll be able to lethal them. So now they have 9 mana, so we are kind of just in prey to hobble them enough. Alright, planning. Okay. They're up to big mana. These D strokes aren't as good against them, uh, sure, as they are against a uh, Nivmazit blue black inverter. Alright, so here we have, here we have some use for our mana. So they still have 10 mana. Yeah, they're, I think they're going to be able to fire through these counters pretty easily. 
<sighs> Feels bad. Feels bad because I think we could have won a game too. So that was uh, a little frustrating. If they pay five more mana to pour over pages, maybe we got a shot, right? I've already played two hidden strings. Or, oh no, they have ten mana. So now they're playing granted. Uh, six. I have no idea. So, like, what do they normally get here? Maybe they put a... Uh... Oh, okay, so they got their Underworld Breach with it. So that was a big dummy move. Yeah. Another four mana. So pretty much all Yeah, so I guess we just actually have to Okay, now they can pay for dispute, right? Let's see if they miss clock. Nope. <sighs> so here they just go off, right? The graveyard stocked enough. Yeah, they got this. Ay, ay, ay. I think, um, I think we need to wiggle in a card to deal with Lotus Breach. Maybe one to two. Not totally sure. Not sure what they'd be. Maybe damp maybe something in like damping sphere, but probably just <clears throat> Yeah, damping sphere. Maybe even something like negate, just like actual regular negate. Unknown opponent, this looks okay. I'm gonna hold on to opt. We actually have a pretty sculpted hand, honestly, for this matchup. We have as a charm for stupid narsets or like problematic permanents. No reason to like run an opt into a sensor, speak of the devil. Just calmly make land drops, play cards.
Yeah. And if they're gonna keep cycling their stuff, that's fine by us. Take two. Jeez, they're just a... Uh, just a blue-white cycle deck. Yikes. Alright, now we're starting to get to the... Probably get countered, pass after that. Sure. You know what would have been sweet there? Dissipate. <laughs> I mean, mystical dispute. Six mana. no way this fucking resolves. Fuck you. Must be fucking nice. Just fucking kill yourself. Ugh. Stone of Tilt. Three. Maybe I didn't need to, it's a charm when I did. Uh, whatever, we still want you, we still want you. I don't think Karanos is as good as it normally is against the uh, blue-white. They have like a lot of random sphere effects. Planning's probably super duper important. Charter course, speed. Actually, I wonder if Disdainful Stroke is as good as I think it is. It's probably not bad. You might be able to shave a Pyromancer? Sure. Uh, keep. It's coming together. A cycle. Oh. 
Yeah, this game we just want to make land drops. Until we uh, get into cruise land, and then we just start drawing a shit ton of cards. Uh, add blue. Get this land, yeah. Sealed. Torino. It's funny how this young pyromancer is just like mega handicapped. I'm just gonna attack for now. We don't need to do much. Currently, this game, it's our opponent's problem, not ours. Dovin Speedo? Is it time's just been really great? I wonder, I wonder if the opponent just doesn't have his Aureus Charm and I've been a huge coward all game. Yep, verdict. Alright, I would like to draw a Treasure Cruise, please. Um... I'm gonna wait a turn. If we had something, right, it would be better to uh, go for it. We'll let that dissolve. We actually have a good answer, so... Yeah. 
now they're cycling. Hmm. So let's say five mana to do this. This is actually kind of tough. So we're gonna get our glaive back, hit the fairy. So they probably have a seal away. Oh, huh, well, they ain't got shit for once. Sadly, they get to untap dig. Baby Teferi. Fry. I would like to draw Treasure Crease. drawn one, right? Oh no, that was last game. We haven't drawn any yet. Hmm. Uh, yeah, sure. This isn't too important. I'd rather just save the disdainful stroke for a dig through time. We'll keep it in hand. But this is pretty bad. Now they get to just keep scrying. And they should be able to hit something relevant before we do by, you know, just scry tuning. They put two cards on top, which is pretty effing bad. Though, I don't know why they would want to. Maybe they're close to double. Uh, land go. Yeah, we're going to die to castles now. The cycle's so good. It's really, uh... We're seeing them all see. 
play in eternal formats, right? Uh, blue white plays both of these. Modern black plays the black castle. Uh, the green castles played in modern. I guess the red castle is the only one that doesn't see big eternal play, but it's very good in standard. <sighs> There's no way this is resolving. Yeah, I don't think I can beat this card if it resolves either. Uh, it must be nice, well played. Yeah, now we'll draw. Now we'll now we'll get there. Nope. Okay. Hmm. Wasn't a fan with how I played game one. I'm sure we made mistakes game two, but I don't think we made anything like absurdly critical, so. Need to rally back to break even. on the play, we've got pretty good hand in the dark. Green. Elf. Hmm. I'm not lightning axing Land of War Elves, but am I lightning axing their three drop that they play on turn two? And if I am, do I want to untap? Do yeah, I do want to untap and do it. In case we draw a cantrip, then we cantrip, and what we're trying to do is find a Arc Light Phoenix. It's very good that they uh, won the die roll, that's for fucking sure. Alright, this is not ideal. I don't know if we just want a two for one ourselves right now, or if we want to wait a turn. The problem with waiting is things actually get kind of scary, because they do play pump spells like Aspect of uh, Hydra. But we might be able to load a, 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 is a charm it. How close are they to Galta? Galta is 12 mana. So they only have 6, so it's still... They need to play another fatty. Uh... I'm going to strategic planning, and then we'll Lightning Axe. We'll just take land. Take untap pain la Painless Land. Yorvo, take five. Oop. They missed their third land drop. This doesn't have Trample. So, we got some insulation. I don't think we need this second Pyromancer. Actually, our discard's kind of interesting. 
Because we want... We, I think we want to is a charm this land of war elves. Maybe it's actually... Discard is a charm next turn. Fourth land. Untapped. Pyromancer is a charm land of war elves. Make two more blockers. So maybe it's actually this. Because they're stuck on mana. Please don't hit your third land. Okay. We will block. Alright, I'll pay two life. I'll play young PC. And then I'll shoot the land of elves. Fucking god. I literally can't catch a fucking break today. Jesus Christ. Maybe the correct play was just to try to kill that land war elf immediately, once we saw them missing their lands. Okay, so... You can bolt. Crackling Drakes. Good cards. I think the way the deck is normally built, Anger of the Gods isn't going to be that good. Obviously, Mystical Disputes are coming out. The funny thing is, we can't get too... Fancy shaving one mana spells? Maybe I want to board in like an upgrade or something, but. Put them all against the six. Yeah, Braid might be good. I don't know. Yep. Alright, here's hoping we can uh, punk them for having a slower hand. We're going to attack, and if they block, we'll just quicken. Aspect. That's fine. Where is it? 
Hmm. So for lightning axe, discarding crew uh you know, island. We can then cruise. And we'll still have Issa Charm up to discard any phoenixes we draw. I kind of like that. They do get to draw a card. But we gotta keep them off Galta. And now we cruise. We did not get there. Uh, let us attack. And then we'll try to course. Okay, this is uh, not turning out how I envisioned. Yorvo, okay. So we kind of need to, like, kind of combo kill them in one go with Crackling Drake. Thankfully, they only have two cards in hand, so even if they have Galta, we got some wiggle room. And we'll be able to get a lot of Opt and Is It Charmage? next turn, so depending on the number of phoenixes we see, we still might be able to GG them. Uh, Ronus, okay. Yeah, so now they should be able to Galta, right? They did not Galta. Alright, let's start digging. We do not want island. Uh... So we have four, if we is a charm... Yeah, yeah I think we is a charm here, and then we cruise, or opt cruise, yeah. Now we will cruise. Uh, okay, so let us. So we're definitely crash throwing. The question is, are we playing Spy Bluff Canal or not? I think we are. And next turn we'll go full full spell vomit. Should have crashed through, then played land. It's not the biggest deal in the world. God, Drake's a glorious magic card. <laughs> so we're at 19, an opponent has 10 power, no, 11, 12, 12 power in play.
Is this good of any creature or another? Yeah, so we'll just jump. So we're taking eight here. Thankfully, we drew as a charm for any, like, memeing reach card. Yeah. <sighs> Fuck, this game. This one's gonna suck, especially without Wild Slash. This is, uh. This is the game where it all goes wrong. <laughs> Let's bring two of braids in and just take out these fiery tempers or what else maybe a maybe a planning And also, we just want to shoot some mana dorks, I guess. Right? We're trying to hobble them there. Yeah, we are. We are not prepared for this matchup. Ugh. Planning, fiery temper. Hmm. Yeah, it's tricky. We'll keep, even though the hand kind of sucks. Uh, yeah, gotta, gotta hope we can punk him. Because otherwise, I think, like, things just get a little too cray-cray. Third land. Alright, let's... Let's get our Phoenix on. Uh, we don't need a second cruise. Uh, crash through. Yeah, we'll click in here. Hopefully there hopefully we can win the race.
All right, let's chart a course. Uh huh. Okay. So we have Del Five. Del 5, we land Lightning Axe, discarding Crash Through. We'll have Del 7 and then we cruise. Okay. Uh, or better yet, we discard Op and we keep Crash Through for another turn? Okay. That might be better. Uh. Yeah, I guess I guess crash through sort of represents more damage though. Nah, now nah, we have uh, is a charm for a gilded goose. Target creature, discard. This is very bad card advantage. So if they have aspect here, that's bad. A fucking course, Jesus Christ. So we're gonna be taking ten. So we got some options. We either Six, six knocks them down to eleven. Another six knocks them down to five. We do need to see something to not die, right? Or if we keep arc lights back, we can double block a steel leaf champion, and then they just attack with Ronus. Though then we go to five. Right, we have their Basham. Fuck. So we need even more than, um, uh, fucking. Yeah, so 6-6, six, six, down to 5, Fiery Temper. So we need to see either um, another Fiery Temper, or Pyromancer doesn't do it, because we'll just take 5 and die, or another Arclight Phoenix. Uh, if they do pump we'll be taking 12, so we'll still be able to shock with our steam vents. Uh, so what, we have two, we only have three outs, if we do it this way. Out of, ooh, three outs, we see five cards, that's really, right. Right, we have 41 cards. Three, five, Maybe it's more, but calculate 33. Let's say two, and we have two as a charms, right? So that's a grand total of two, 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 and draw. Calculate 43. It's just so, yeah, it's just actually not a winning line if we don't attack though. So if they have Aspect, we're dead. So 
Surat also kills us, I think. This doesn't. This doesn't do shit. Yeah, like, if you want to fight an arc, like, whatever. We're, uh... Alright, that was a dud, I believe. Oh. That is a dud. You are a dud. Right? Chump, chump. Or chump, chump. Trample, die. Right? Block, block, two, yeah. So we need the sob to Woot. Feels Arclight Phoenix, man. Got there, our low ass 42%. Bad matchup, for sure. Whew. Yes. Uh, I'll keep. We're just probably gonna play self of rolls turn one. Put them all against the six. Ugh, I'm not gonna lie, I got a bit of a headache from that last game. Alright, let's check something super quick. We have... 14 hits, 53, 14, sample size, if we opt, we're looking at 3 cards. 60%? Yeah, let's just play Sulphur Falls. Okay, maybe I need to look at Sulphur Falls. Look at Sulphur Falls. In mana base. Seems trashy sometimes. Okay, we're playing against Scissors. Sisters, I don't like this matchup, game one, at least without Wild Slash, that's for sure. Like, honestly, even right now, if they just uh, put uh, Sisters on this and Soul Artifact. Alright, 6-6. Six, six. Good card. Well played. Must be nice. Jeez, these, uh, these draws have not been good. So, sadly, we have to run the block, lightning axe, hope they don't have stubborn denial.
Womack Courier. Okay, they don't have Stubborn Denial. Alright, we got a shot then. We'll discard Ship and Reef because it's the the worst. And we'll put an elemental on everything. We're still taking uh, five trample damage. So we aren't hashtag out of the woods yet. So we're just gonna treasure cruise for max because we've been flooding ton. Okay, they have three cards. If we get to untap, we're in a pretty good spot. If we don't, well, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can't block. We'll just do this now. Whew. Okay, okay. Uh, Quicken. Draw two, just go to yeah. So we've played two, yeah, that, uh, nah, I don't even. Alright, I'm just going back over the turn. Quicken, op. Opt? Or is it charm? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, GG. They couldn't kill us from 8 with only 3 mana and 2 cards. Alright. Whew, that was a... Uh... It was a lucky game one win, honestly. The Squeaka. I like this card. I kind of like this card. I like this card. I like these cards. Uh, 
Maybe the sideboard needs magma sprays. Because this matchup seems a little rough without him. Though having disputes on the draw goes a long way in my opinion. I think because they're inherently a two-for-one deck, we just want to, like, they're going to two-for-one themselves a lot, and we just need to make sure we have that critical mass of interaction so we don't fall behind. So I'm going to, and we want to keep up red for our interaction, so I'm going to cut out some of our top end and our macro cards to just stay alive. The sand sucks. The sand actually sucks. It looks good, but it sucks. This hand is good. It looks good, and is good. Alright, our hand's mono removal. <laughs> so, hopefully... They don't have, like, memes. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. Like, they play Sahili or, like, Jade and Tome and just run away with the game. We're gonna take three here. I wanna slow roll this lightning axe for fiery temper memes. So I'm just gonna untap and abrade the stone coil serpent. Uh, let's just get our red sources out. So we might, if they play third land, they might just uh, animate me to vault, equip bash. And now we're in the unenviable spot of having to kill Muta Vaults. <sighs> yeah, so they be tanking. Yep. Because this uh, equips the colorless creatures, and Muta Vault is a colorless creature land. Okay. Instead, they chose to do nothing. I will play our Sulphur Falls and pass. So we saw Treasure Cruise now, and now we just need to survive, kill stuff, cruise, profit. Please don't play in Solar Artifact. Yep. Yeah. This is the one combo I can't beat. I can't beat in Solar Artifact on Citadel. I don't like how they're tapping. Reading it. So they were tapping weird. They could have definitely been keeping up, uh, what's it called? Blue. Blue mana. But they intentionally tap blue. So. Yeah, now they're tapping blue red three. 
God, I'd really like... Mystical Dispute right now. So we're probably just gonna lightning axe the meat of Oh, nope. Yeah, so they're probably gonna pump, equip, pump. Pump it. Yeah. Hmm. I'm gonna, we're gonna draw two, then, oh, sick. So we have Del four now, so now we can cruise. Yeah, let's uh, tap four for cruise. Keeping up lightning axe. Ugh. Feels bad, man. Why didn't they loot? <laughs> Alright, so we'll Lightning Axe pitching Spy Bluff Canal, because this card sucks. Okay. Okay. Sex so they'll equip, pump, and then we'll kill. St <laughs> we'll kill Sealed uh, Animator. We just need to get our Clay Phoenix back and start bashing this uh, Royal Scions. <laughs> Thanks, uh, Noobman93. Uh, Alright, so let's just get the Steam Vents into play. Yeah, I figured I should stop looking like a, a vagrant. Alright, opponent, come on. Come on. What? I think our opponent's will is broken. Like, why not animate a quip swing? Why not do four? We definitely have to... We're being put to the test. Oh. Uh, yeah, we have to let this happen. Yeah, this... <sighs> Maybe we could have drawn two discarded, too. Okay, so... Chart. We have Del 4 right now. Delph 6. Yeah, there's no reason to is a charm now. Um, let us get rid of... Yeah, Beacon Bolt can go, because we can actually... We can quicken flash it back. And we don't have to eat it either. Because we're one over. Uh, What the fuck? 
We can't discard this either. But we do have to attack this. Yeah, we have to knock Royal Silence down to 5, or else it'll do a shit ton of damage to us and they'll draw a ton of cards. And now we still got... We got a lot of stuff. Actually, this dispute's uh, pretty pretty helpful. And they whiffed. So they can bash for actually a lot of damage. Six. But we got... We got some spot removal spells. So we're at seven. <sighs> okay, we're at seven. We can play Young PZ. I don't think we can uh, Phoenix this turn comfortably. But if we go Young Pyromancer. And we have double removal spell for both mutavolts, and then we can put two tokens on the last one. And then we knock Scions down. If our mana was a little better, we could make we could try to dig for an untapped land, but I think that's a little greedy. Probably got a little unlucky this game. They drew more lands than we did. And we have we have a draw three. <coughs> Alright. They're tapping mana. Uh Resolvo. I might just quicken Beacon Bolt this. Quicken Beacon Bolt the Skilled Animator. Discarding uh, Arclight Phoenix. Yeah. We've been pretty, pretty darn lucky this game. Alright, step one, opt. Quicken. Quicken. Shevin Reef. Move to combat. We're just gonna send both both Phoenixes at Scion, opponents at 18. I want to keep up the full removal suite just to stop a shrapnel blast. Or is this actually better? One to Scions, you, you, because one shot from the blast can't kill us, and we can't actually stop double shot from the blasts. Though our opponent doesn't actually have the goods, so we're oh we're two two by the way. I then update after barely beating Mono Green. <laughs> Alright, we are now 3 3. I mean 3 2. Sick. Whew. Feels. Feels Blue Red Phoenix. Alright, so how. 
How do we feel about Mystical Dispute? It was fine-ish against Scissors. There, there were actually a few turns in game one where we wanted it, and we boarded up to them, so that's fine. It wasn't good... God, what did we play against round one? I remember doing something there. Round two was good. It gave us a win against Lotus Breach, but unfortunately we lost games two and three because of a game two punt. Uh, game three we lost to Blue-White Control where we had a pretty shitty game one. And game two just kind of like we never saw a Treasure Cruiser, so that was kind of blah. Then we barely beat Mono Green. The motion sucked there. I mean, just beat sucked there, so we boarded it out. And then it was fine there. So actually, I've, I've really been liking this. I think the only hole that needs to be fixed with the sideboard now is we need... Obviously, Mono Green's not a big consideration, but we do want Magma Sprays for... Um, mono Black, Mono Red, Scissors, etc. And even, like, that Mono Green deck, right? So, I'll probably try to wiggle in a Magma Spray or two for the next build. So... Yeah, that's it for me. If you enjoyed this, please smash the like button down below or and subscribe. And uh, we'll be back next time with more Blue Red Phoenix.